Hi guys, welcome to Try TV. I'm Chi Chi. I'm Jordan. And we have got an exciting day today based on the following video. <laughs> Our challenges are going to be revolve, revolving around packing peanuts. And we'll be right back, maybe with some special guests and a costume change. one of those days when you're feeling just a little bit uh, and you don't know what you want or what you need what do you do on those days to make yourselves feel better well when i'm having one of those days i may read my bible i love to read stories about god i find it so encouraging so inspiring i may wear a bright color you've got to love a bit of red i may spend time with family and friends they always, always cheer me up because their jokes are absolutely terrible. Or I may do something that might help to make somebody else's day feel a little bit better. I may, if you want to know what it is, if you want to find out, stay tuned because here's what you'll need. going to be making smiley faces to decorate our windows. To make your smiley face, firstly take a paper plate and paint in a bright colour. Repeat with a second paper plate and once dry you can decorate them however you want. I've used goggly eyes, a button for a nose and then I've drawn on a nice big smiley mouth. Once you've done both paper plates this way, you can glue the two together and thread a piece of wool through the top and then they're ready to hang up your smiley face to decorate your window why not give it a go yourself and see what you can do and perhaps your smiley face in the window might brighten up somebody's day until next time bye for now So, we're looking for our co-hosts today. We need to go find them. Oh, I 
think I know what they are. The food bank. Nah, I heard noises in here. Number one? Where is the number two? It's over there. Ah, there he is, there he is, there he is. We've got a team for Tribe TV. So guys, we're back and for pizza here. We found them, me and Gigi yeah. found them. Um, and we're going to be doing the Ferrix challenge today. You guys are going to be our Ferrix. And you are going to be using all of these things. Comment down Later on for down some of the challenges. Yeah. But while we're doing the challenges, we are going to also be heading over to an area of Utoxita to meet two members of the Tribe TV family, Marley and Lola. And they have been working on some really cool project that they wanted you guys to check out. So make sure you stick around and hopefully you'll be able to see that. Okay guys, so how is everybody's week's chair? How's your week? Good. Katie? Hi, Chi Chi? Good. Anything fun happening for you guys this week in lockdown? Yeah, no. stay in the house, sitting no. down and being bored. It's the most funniest experience. Check it out. <laughs> but yeah. the good job yeah. is we escaped lockdown that Chi Chi put us in last week. So we're back oh, yeah. and we're ready for round for 30 plus 7, however many rounds of this we've done and we're excited to keep it going. Um, okay. So everyone's back and lockdown is the fun. But the first challenge, first job that I've got for you is involve, involving these peanuts is going to involve these, these items. And these items that you can see on screen are hidden in this box. A box which is bigger than all of my little friends here. Their job is very simple, very easy. To go into the box which is filled with packing peanuts and find those six items. Your job is to find as many as you can in, I'm going to be really harsh, 15 seconds. You've okay. got 15, 15 seconds, seconds to find six items. So you've got to find the cow, another animal, and the frog. <laughs> Can't remember what the other horse. animal is. The horse. And three golf balls. Two golf balls and a tennis ball. A table tennis ball. Let me start that again. Yeah, that's yeah. So your job, guys, is to find those six items in 15 seconds. Those items are the yellow and the blue golf ball, the ping pong ball, the frog, the cow, and the horse. Can you do it? Yes! Let's see if you can. Oh, guys, who wants to go first? Me! So guys, I'm filming Tribe TV and I've got a problem. My head's on the ceiling, I'm that tall. Anyway, it's the over, not, not about me, it's about Joe. Joe, it's over to you. Three, two, one, go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, oh 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop there, show, show us what you got. One, can we <laughs> One, two, more. Three, four, there we go. Now, why the heck were the others? Four, Joe, you got four. Where Up the next. Are they? The girls. Let's see who's gonna win. Just admit it. <laughs> Up next, Chi Chi. You've got 15 seconds, starting in three, two, one, go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop there! How many did you get? Uh, one, two, three, four. We've There's got eight. In there. Hang on, know. hang on. Show us, show the camera, show the camera. How many did you get? Uh, one, two, three, and four. Drawing dun, 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 with this boy. Dun, 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 dun. Up next, Katie. <laughs> Katie, you're up next. You've got 15 seconds, starting in 3, 2, 1, go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop there! 
How many did you get? Five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, guys, challenge number two, super easy, super simple. In front of you, you've got ten penis. See, I accidentally spilled them, and somehow, miraculously, they ended up in three lines of ten peanuts. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this into a bit of a challenge. You guys, what the yeah. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you each a fork. This is your magic tool. Do not lose this because this will save your life. There's your fork, there's your fork, and there's your fork. And you are also going to have a cup. One cup for you, one cup for you, one cup for you. Okay guys, so it's very easy, very simple. You have to use your magic fork to be, with, with just one hand to pick up the peanut. Once you've picked up the peanut, you can use your other hand to hold the cup and you can like use the fork and spoon to get the peanut off and hopefully in there. Hopefully you guys can see that. So it is a race, so whoever does it first is the winner. Are you guys ready? Sure. Put your yeah. fork in one hand, put your cup in the other hand. Three. Two, one, go, 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 go! It won't go off! It won't go off! It won't go off! Gigi's making it very fast and Kate is smashing it over there! Oh my goodness, Kate's got one! Somebody's done it! Oh my goodness, it's been just two seconds! It looks what like it's going to be Gigi! Oh my goodness! Yeah. After the next challenge, we thought we'd do something arty. Inside of your red cups, a pile of um, peanuts, Ooh. and you've also got these little bad boys, which are super sharp you and super dangerous. Boys. So be careful with them. Do not allow yourselves to prick yourselves. And what I've got going to give you is I'm going to give you a minute to make the most indestructible model out of these peanuts and out of the Whoa. sticks as you How can. So it's very easy, very simple. If you look here, if you stab one end, you can make little models just like this. Okay, and what we're gonna do after this is we're gonna do a drop test. And if your model breaks, you lose. If it doesn't break, you win. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. So okay. you've got a minute to try and make the coolest model that you can. I I love the breaking in three, two, one, go, go, As go, long go, go. as it doesn't break, I don't care how cool it looks, honestly. Generally. Gently. Wait, how many? How many? Well, he mocks me. What? Well, I'm just going to do what I'm doing the first one. Yeah. I'm doing the square to throw. He looks up to you. I trust him. I'm doing the square. I trust him face. more. You no, just I save don't. that for the camera. We all know. You know. Shish kebab. <laughs> Shish kebab. Shish kebab. Shish kebab. I mean. But yours is not the coolest, so you can still do it. It's a good look, Joe. No, no, as long as the end isn't great. No. Mm, true. Well, fine then. I'm going to get cool. 10, 9, 8, 7, That's 6, really Five, four, what? three, two, one. Stop there, stop there, stop there. 
So while we're making, while I'm making my way downstairs to monitor these drops, I think you guys should go and check out what Lola and Molly have been up to. Hi, we're doing rock paper scissors extreme. Talk us through what you made. So I made a cube. So what I've done, I've done a square base, and then I've just put sticks going up, and then I've just done the square base again. Boom. <laughs> Katie, you're up first in three, two, one, drop, drop, drop. <gasps> it's still alive. Let's have a it's look. Still it's still alive. <laughs> Katie has successfully done the challenge. Well done, Katie. Nice kebab. <laughs> Talk us through it. Well, it's dropped a few times already. It's filled up a few times. Uh, my inspiration was to try not to let it fall, but I'm looking at it already. Because. It doesn't bode well, does it? Let's see who can't wins. I just choose one piece. Yeah, you can, can choose one piece. piece. You're up. Three, two, one, go. Oh, let's have a look, let's have a look. Let's see if it's if she's done okay. Yeah, she's it's still alive. Okay, up next. Now it's Joe. Joe, show us your model, what have you made? I haven't made like a base. Um I've made A death trap. Yes. <laughs> so this is let's pretend that it's like a million dollars in the middle, but then there's loads of spikes that are invisible around you, just pretend they're invisible. And then you'll step onto them and then you're dead. And how's that how's that gonna protect it falling down some stairs? Oh, um I wanna do a demonstration. We can't do a demonstration just yet. Up oh, next, the death trap that is Josiah Murray's creation. Three, two, one, spiky boy. Go, 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 go. Oh, it's on. I think. I think. We have all managed to survive this challenge, which means everybody, everybody gets a point. Everybody managed to win the challenge, which means everybody gets a point, which means K has won our challenge for today. Hey guys, I hope you're all doing amazing. I've just come back from the shop. So I thought I'd do my video really quickly for you. It is about healing. Now, it's a bit difficult to talk about healing because I don't fully understand it myself. I just know that God is in control. So I don't understand why some people get healed and why some people don't get healed. But I know that God is in control. See, he gives us his authority so that we can heal people, so that we can pray over people, so that we can say, in Jesus' name, you are healed. He gives us almost like permission to be able to go and pray for people using his name. And it says in the Bible, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can move a mountain. So why not heal someone that has cancer? Why not heal someone that is very poorly? Why not heal mummy when she's sick? Or why not heal daddy after he's had a car crash? Or all these different things we can pray for, no matter how young or how old, we have the authority to pray for that. There's a man in the Bible and he was paralysed and he could, so that means that he couldn't walk and his friends heard that Jesus was in town, like around, so they carried him on a mat and to the place where Jesus was and it was so overcrowded, it was so full that they couldn't get anywhere near, especially not with a mat. So do you know what they did? 
they went up on a roof and they cut a hole into the roof and they lowered their friend down and Jesus said because of your faith he will be healed. So Jesus healed the man because of the man's friend's faith. Now I think that is so cool that our faith could help to heal somebody else. That our faith could make somebody else's life so much better because we have the faith to believe that Jesus is a healer. That's who God is. He is a healer and he loves us and he supports us and he wants the very best for us. And we have that ability, that authority inside of us. So I hope that's helped. Um, but remember that if you have the faith, you can heal someone. Bye, guys. So we are done for today. But Chi Chi and Joe lost to the mighty Katie. Well, then, Katie, whoop, 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 whoop. And... And um, you guys are going to have to drive home on the pink tricycle. The tricycle is back. You guys have got to drive home on it together though, and somehow uh, carry these peanuts home with you. Okay? Yeah. Jump on for me. Second. Joe, jump on for me. Um, How do I... No, Jordan. No, no, that doesn't make sense. Go! Which way are we going? Bye everybody. <laughs> Get off! We're gonna fall! Jeff, no, no. Hey, well! I'm gonna have to cycle then. Hello! We're going Hello. the wrong way! It's this way. Well, I'm not gonna lie, guys, this is taking a lot longer than anticipated. It's a new forfeit! You gotta pick no, up ever! No, we've done it! No! That's it, guys! We'll see you later! Bye! Bye.